Hey, my construction entrepreneurs, this is video one here. Pull this up for you a little bit so you can see me there. Hey, this is video one. This is Tyrone Jones. Just going over the labor section, uh, which we call the labor rate section within the um, CES um, uh, estimating system, right? Which is a construction entrepreneur school and services estimating system. And this is one of the, 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 the larger components with our estimating system that allows you to have versatility with selecting labors, uh, uh, adding in names for, for particular labors, or a title description for a labor. As you see here, I got uh, in this section here, I got operator, uh, GP3, skister. And a lot of these terms here is for uh, public works type projects. And that's why you see up here, you see uh, uh, last labor updates from the DIR December 1st, 2018. I like to enter that in there. Uh, that way I know and anyone else that goes into this file knows that the last time the DIR uh, was updated for Public Works, Davis Bacon type projects, um, was, uh, uh, it was pulled off from uh, December 1st, 2018. Uh, and then someone else may need to verify that, and that, that, that way they'll know maybe that data is a little bit further out, then maybe we need to look into that and make sure we're, we're in the, um, the right uh, uh, rate range, okay? Um, so if you look here, you see a lot of lists here, a lot of classifications on descriptions. Uh, like I said, you can enter in whatever you want. I even got here, if you look on uh, this line here, labor one cash. I even got a, a cash option in there where I use that sometimes, depending on what type of work I'm doing or who I'm bidding on some work for. Because sometimes I'm bidding on work for different contractors to help them out, give them a hand. Uh, here, I enter in a name here, John Creed, Casey Worker, Maurice. See, I got uh, John Creed at $50 an hour. I got a Casey at 30, 42, and Maurice, the basic labor at $15 an hour. Now, if you look here in this section here from uh, C out to G, this here is where you would enter in your fringes. So if you are a labor shop, uh, you would enter in your fringes in this section here. What if that be sometimes, uh, depending on what, what union you're with, some of the fringes selection, like the training, the vacation, the pension is based on the percentage, uh, which can easily be included in within these sales and locked in, and uh, that way no one can actually change them or, um, or you have to be authorized to change them. We can set that up for you, not a problem. Also, too, if you notice here, there's some blank areas here that don't have any numbers in there. That's because we're not, that, that particular position or that particular labor doesn't, uh, or that job site doesn't require us to add frictions, fric uh, fringes into this section here. So that's why you see it comes out as a total as whatever is here, okay? And you can easily simply by going through and zeroing these out, uh, and that way you make sure that uh, uh, additional cost is not being calculated within your bid. Okay, uh, if you notice here at the end here, this is the loaded rate section, okay, where you'll find a total cost for that person, okay? Now, this section here, uh, you will notice on other videos where you will see these names pop up because we got drop down menus to make it easier, faster, quicker for you to get through these estimates, okay? But now, <clears throat> these, uh, uh, where I have here the labor burden percentage at 13. That's changed here, and it would change throughout your entire bid on every sheet that's listed down here below, okay? That means it will reflect on every line. Insert line item four, it will reflect on each one down there, okay? Uh, overhead at 13%. Uh, that would not reflect on each sheet, nor would the profit percentage reflect on each sheet. Uh, you would change that on a different sheet, which we will show in other videos. Uh, here, like I say, you can just enter in wh whomever you want. Uh, labor one, right? You can enter that into that section. Uh, you can do labor two if you wanted to um, into that section. So you can enter in whatever you want uh, according to whatever type of job you're bidding on. 
And you can also enter in what you want to pay that person in this section as well, which is B here. That is the uh, taxable base wage. Uh, hopefully we explained that. You have any questions, make sure you reach out to us, send us an email, give us a call. If you're purchasing this program, or you're going through a demo or thinking about going through a demo, go ahead and check out the rest of these videos here. Uh, definitely get you comfortable in into what we provide here on this system. And we can explain all the parts and how this thing can come together and really help you and your team out to help you guys bid on the next project that you can win and count as, um, as profit within your company. So thank you for attending. I'm gonna see you on the next one.